everybody. Welcome back to the Sports Card Show. Today we've got a new release from the NBA. This is 2022 NBA Hoops Basketball. And um, Hoops is always the first product of the year to have the um, most recent NBA draft class rookie cards in it. So it's notable for that. Um, over the last few years, the price of this stuff has been kind of out of control. I remember, um, I think like when 2020 uh, stuff came out, it was like, gosh, it was like $600 a box. And normally this is like, you know, a $60, $70 product. It's very low end. It's pretty much the lowest end, um, you know, basketball product out there. And uh, so <laughs> it was a, I guess, a, a relief to see it. Um, a little bit more reasonably priced this year. I think uh, you're seeing these at about $150 on launch date. It's about a week past the launch of this. Um, so I think you'll probably see prices dropping steadily. And uh, I don't know what it's going for today. My guess is that you might see it at 130 or so. Um, and I would expect this to kind of work its way down to about $100 or less in, um, in time. So uh, if you don't, if you don't like the price tag now, I would say just wait, and this will be a lot cheaper. You know, my my view on hoops is it's not it's not um, really the best rip for your dollar, um, but if once it gets down to a hundred bucks, you know, getting a hobby box for any less than that of any NBA product is a is a challenge. Um, so it's always going to be the cheaper, you know, on the cheaper end of NBA products. Um, Usually, I think they did two autographs per hobby box. This year, they have one, and the autographs are pretty lackluster for the most part in hoops. I mean, you know, of course, there's always the exception, but they put a lot of kind of trash autographs in hoops, so it's not a place to go to get the, the best autographs. Um, so we'll see what we find here. And this bad boy. Get all the packs out. All right, here we go. Eight cards per pack, 24 packs per box, one autograph. And on the cover there, Paulo Banchero is um, the top guy to get. Pretty boring. Uh, design as is usually the case for hoops little kind of gray to white gradient going on there um jane ivy is our first rookie card josh minot minot oh we got a purple rookie that's not bad jake laravia um not numbered so First insert here on the back. Chris uh, Boucher, Jim Buckets, Zion. And this is a, um, I forget what they call these, but it's kind of like a, a throwback sort of set uh, that they do every year in hoops. Um, and our first insert is. Hoopla, Jason Tatum. You know, this stuff, yeah, as I mentioned, it's not, not really something I think is worth getting for most people, but some people like this set a lot, like to maybe try to put together, say, a Mobley, and if that's a... Um, Parallel. I think it's just that's how all the throwbacks look. Um, so not yet. Yeah, not my favorite release, and um, I'm not sure I would have gotten a box except for wanted to do a, at least one video of it. And uh, we'll see how the draft class here. makes out here 
for the remainder of the year, but I don't think anybody's doing particularly great in the draft class. This is a, uh, he got, uh, we got next. Insert card there, rookie. All right, Giannis. Dylan Brooks. Johnson. Our first numbered card is a Bradley Beal to 75. I don't know why I'm pulling out anything. I'll just sort all through all these later. I feel like the majority of these cards are off center too, if the left and right borders are supposed to be even, which I would assume is the case. Like this one's pretty on center, but most of them are pretty, pretty off center a little bit at least. Jason Tatum and a zero gravity. There are some fun insert sets in uh, hoops, so I know some people like to collect those. That might be one reason to pick up uh, some of this stuff, but boy, I think it's going to be hard to. Get your value, get your money's worth. DeAndre, or sorry, De'Ron De Sharp. Uh, another purple parallel. Those seem to be like one in every, I don't know, three packs or something like that. All right. Cleaver. Not the Maverick I'm looking for. Zach Levine. Is that called City Edition? I think is what that's called. It's hard to tell. All right. So speaking of NBA, uh, twenty twenty one. I think Immaculate just came out today or yesterday. I got a box of that on the way to me, but I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, seems like a pretty expensive. <laughs> Keegan Murray now playing. That's kind of a cool looking one. Oh, there we go. Paul Boncaro is... Uh, Pretty nicely centered. Just a base. I guess we got one. We uh, we got next. They just use like different color schemes for those cards because they look quite a bit different from the last one we got. There's a Luca. Ooh, it's a parallel. That's nice. That makes this box kind of worth my while. Since he's my kind of PC. Kendall Brown, Zion, and what is this going to be? Ooh, it's numbered. Fantastic. Love it. Beautiful card there. I mean, might be worth five, ten bucks. Who knows? Oh, man. Big old, big old problem with the bottom border there, though. Dang, that's a bummer. Yeah. Otherwise, this might have been pretty dang close to gemming. A little bit off-center, too. But no, it's just going to have to be a nice card to have. But, boy, I have to tell you, if there's one guy I'd love to get a numbered card of out of this product, it is Luka Doncic. So, excited about that. Still looking for our one autograph. One more. And a Ja Morant, nothing like the taste of your first 30 piece. Uh, Panini Presents is the set. That's just the caption. All right, I think we're about halfway through the box now. Still looking for our auto. Still looking for, like, you know, a numbered rookie parallel. We did, we have had one rookie parallel, unnumbered. Oh, 
another Paolo. Very nice. One more junior class action. Okay. the microphone creating noise that I'm sure you was you were noticing Jason Tatum Steph Curry Kyrie Irving insert I'm still looking for that auto FYI I paid um, 150 bucks with tax for this box at the local hobby shop and uh the um, oh, there's a numbered, very high numbered card, 20, 2022, run of the finals. Giannis, um, yeah, in the you know kind of dealer to dealer marketplace, dealer net. These boxes are, I think, about a hundred bucks. At least they were on launch. Um, they might even be less than that now. There's there's a lot of a lot of hoops every year that they make and uh you know a lot of dealers who get that stuff allocated to them by their distributors or panini directly you know have an interest in trying to get rid of it as quickly as they can so sometimes you'll see things go down in price relatively rapidly there's a lot more people are trying to sell and buy can we get a rookie no Kawhi Leonard not bad purple and then, you know, there's the drop that just happens over time, as we've seen with the last couple of years of, of hoops. You know, the launch price just has not held for very long before people start to sell off their inventory. Class action again, Malachi Branham. Okay, we're down to uh, five packs here. Looking for an autograph. Looking for our autograph. John Morant. Always good to have another draw. And what is this? Why is this the last card? I feel like, oh, because it's like the red back is a parallel and um, they're not numbered, but I think they're fairly rare. I mean, I th oh, actually, I've got an, another one of those, Julius Randle. Just those two, I believe. That's right. So we got two in a whole box. Pretty rare. But kind of silly that they look exactly the same on the front. This one feels a little thicker to me. Is it going to be something? Nope. Boy, the bottom corner of this pack is damaged. Thanks, Panini Quality Control. And De'Aaron Fox, I like him a lot. Um, having a real nice year. I mean, he's always having a real nice year, it seems. But uh, King's looking to make their way in the playoffs this year. Colin Sexton. Joel Beat also having a monster year. Chet Holmgren's the other kind of big name in this product. He's like a super tall youngster that uh, I believe he went, um, you know, skipped college. So, high school drafty. No, I guess he played for Gonzaga, so. But I don't think he played, you know, he didn't play like all of his eligibility years. He just played like one maybe or two. 
Um, yeah, so he's a freshman at Gonzaga. And then after the draft, road to the finals, another number 2022. So, boy, are we going to get down to our last pack for the autograph on this? That is the question. Here's the second to last pack. And is this an auto? Nope. I'm wrong. Okay. Well, there should be an autograph in here. I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, we got skunked. All right, come on, Otto. Do we have something? I don't know. Is this the last card in Otto? Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. Looking Robinson. Will Barton. Jackson Hayes. Jake Moravia. Is this an autograph? It is. Herbert Jones. Hot signatures, huh? Okay. And a jam-tastic uh, Zion. Herbert Jones, all right, I don't know much about him, but at least he's not like a retired guy like uh, Kenny Anderson, they like to put a lot of his autos in Panini products, um, and like, uh, uh, who is it, um, Dantley, I think they put a ton of like old players from the 70s, Adrian Dantley, um, a lot of his stuff shows up, which I actually thought of him as a really good player, you know, back in the kind of 90s um, when he was retired, but, you know, people thought highly of him. So I wouldn't mind getting one of his autos, but they're not really worth anything. So there you have it. One hobby box of 2022 hoops. The first 2022 NBA product of the year. Always exciting to kick that off. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you guys Later, you have a great one. Bye now.